and I will retire with the crown. Yes. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fall wardrobe essentials video. So if you don't know what to wear in the fall, if you have these pieces, you literally can just build any type of outfit with them. So here are all the pieces I'm going to be showing you guys. It looks like a lot, but it's not really that many pieces. I wanted to make sure I included pieces that could have been worn more in the autumn and then more so closer to the winter weather because I know some people's fall don't really differ from their winter time. Weathers in my area is getting up to like 74 degrees at the highest and like 45 at the lowest. So it kind of just depends but yeah let's go ahead and get started the first section i'm going to talk about is sweaters one of my favorite types of sweaters in the fall are crop sweaters for example i have this teddy knit sweater it is cropped and it's from shein as well it's still very warm material and it's so soft like this is probably the softest material i have in my closet <laughs> but you could also wear it with like a skirt and kind of dress it up a little bit or you could just wear some jeans like I normally do. It's kind of up to you. The next type of sweater that I have is a sweater dress. So this is just a black sweater dress that I got from Shein. Shein did not sponsor this video, I promise. I just literally spent my whole life on their website. But anyways, this is just a black little crew neck sweater dress. Kind of gives me Ariana Grande vibes, like her little boyfriend sweaters that she wears with like the long knee high boots. <laughs> It's definitely a look. I always pair them with like fishnets. I think it gives a nice contrast between the bulky sweater and then having like really feminine legs showing. Like that's really my style. I love it. But this is something you want to wear on a day that's not really windy in the fall. My favorite thing to do is layer like biker shorts under them and then kind of roll them up a little bit so that even if the wind does blow under my dress, I'm not really getting cold. I have this gray sweater right here. I'm pretty sure I got it from Forever 21. I never really wear this sweater alone. I actually got it years ago when I was in school and we had like uniforms, but <laughs> that's exactly the style I go for when I'm wearing this. I just have this button down here and I got this from the thrift store this duo is amazing for me i like to put on like a tank top and then i button the button down shirt under it and leave it hanging at the bottom because it is a little bit too big for me and then i put this sweater on top of it so in the fall time it keeps you really really warm that's three layers alone and it's actually a really trendy look at the moment there are a lot of like collared shirts going around like, collared anything is like popping at the moment the next essential I have is this chunky net sweater dress. I got this from the thrift store as well. It's so easy to find oversized sweaters at the thrift store. It feels just how it looks and it also has those fall brown colors in it, brown and cream. Definitely fall time approved. I really love the chunky fit at the top of my neck. I personally have a really skinny neck so whenever I have something chunky, it makes it look less giraffe-like if that makes sense and I really like the fit of it on me. So I have this gray one as well, except it's not a dress, it's actually just a regular sweater so there's so many different ways you can wear it you can wear it as is and kind of like tuck it in and pull it out to give that cropped look which is what I personally go for but you can also add a belt to the middle of it and then kind of wear it out and it kind of makes it look more formal and dressed up which I think is pretty cool I also got this from the thrift store there's literally sweater galore at the thrift store like I don't know So now that we're done with the sweaters, the next thing I want to talk about in the fall wardrobe is jacket pieces. My favorite jacket for the more cool times of the fall is this leather jacket. And it's an amazing coat. Like, I can wear this in the winter and the fall. A good material leather jacket is a necessity for the fall and winter time. I know we're not in the winter yet, but it is good for those late fall stages where it's starting to get really breezy outside. So the next type of jacket that I have, it looks like this. It's really sheer material, so it's definitely cool for those warmer fall days where it's just a little breeze outside. It's not something that you can zip, but there's so many different ways you can wear it. It's kind of like a throw, but the material really clings to your body in the places that you want it to. So if you want it to stick to your curves, it will do that. <laughs> and it's a really bright color for the fall, but I love pink. 10 out of 10, recommend. The next section I'm going to talk about are pants. Now in the fall, I really like to wear high-waisted pants, whether they're jeans or just pants in general. These leather pants, I'm not really sure where they're from. I got these for my birthday, but they're high-waisted. It's by a brand called Shine Star. So if anybody knows who sells those type of pants, that's where it's from. <laughs> they're also skinny leg. I try to wear these casually, and so I feel like I already get stared as it is because they're leather pants, but 
it's like it's 2020 like honey it's fashion <laughs> the lining of these pants is like a fleece material and so it's really warm inside as well even though it's like leather and cool on the outside sticking with the high-waisted theme for the fall i do have these high-waisted jeans they're from shein i will link them below they shape me really well like i don't have any hips i don't have a butt i don't I don't have much but <laughs> these pants give me the illusion that I do and they also get me very warm in the fall so I think this is like the perfect option if you are looking for something to you know kind of give you some shape but also stay warm it does have the opposite stitching at the bottom which I think is really cool and it's very much on trend for 2020 Next, I have some skirts now I'm one to wear mini skirts in the fall I think wearing plaid skirts and having those like corduroy skirts and things of that nature are so fall so I have this plaid skirt it is just black and white i got this from shein it does have a little slit on the side but i promise if you wear some stockings under this or leggings i promise it'll keep you warm i do like to wear the leggings that are your skin tone under them and then put fishnets on top of it and it literally looks like your legs but nobody knows you have three layers of leggings on <laughs> you can't have a fall time without plaid like plaid i'll wear it in the summer as well i'm obsessed with plaid but in the fall it's like it really just hits different you know so next i have this copper brown skirt i know in the fall time a lot of people wear the button down skirts but they're more so on the corduroy side this i got from shein and it's more so like a velvet feel but it still definitely keeps you warm and it has those fall colors that literally you just can't miss in the, in the fall time. Like you have to wear this color. And so I think it looks amazing. I definitely always pair it with like black. Like I would definitely wear it with what I have on right now. And then in the back, if you are someone who's thicker, it does like have this stretchy material in the middle. Definitely doesn't have a use for my body, but if you do have some curves, honey, this is a skirt for you. I would definitely link it below. The thing I like about this skirt is it's not too short. Like it does still have some length to it. And in the back, it is a little bit longer. It is long enough to where I won't show anybody your goodies underneath. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's pretty much it for all of the clothes that I wear. I do have some accessories, which I think would look nice in the fall time. I do have this hat. I know it looks like a little cowboy hat, cowgirl hat, but I promise it looks not okay. Well, I can't put it on right now because I have this clip on. It is like the perfect hat for the fall time. I don't know. I think I'm trying to get more into hats and things of that nature. I'm tired of wearing beanies my whole life. I like to keep it safe on a lot of the things that I wear, but this is like taking it to the next level. Y'all go invest in y'all little cowboy hat. It does wonders for your outfit. I also have some scarves that I like to show you guys. I have this sheet scarf. Now this scarf is as big as a blanket. Like it looks skinny at the moment but it gets wider than my camera lens like and then it's so long like you could literally wrap your whole body in this so many ways you can pair this with your clothing in the fall whether you want to wear it as like a jacket or you just want to bundle up in it because you're cold or if you want to wear it around your neck i got this from room 21 like a few years ago and it's held up perfectly since then I also have this infinity scarf it definitely keeps your neck warm in the fall time and i love it it just adds another layer to your clothing and it is so pretty and comfortable i actually think i got this from shopmissa.com it was a dollar y'all everything on that website is a dollar i have it in black and white so you can definitely find different colors i just think this kind of ties together outfits like if you want to wear brown boots or if you want to wear brown purse then you can also put this on and it can just match so the last thing we're going to talk about are shoes my favorite shoes in the fall time are booties i don't really have any tennis shoes i probably have two pair of tennis shoes one of my favorite casual shoes for the fall time these are not uggs these are by guess i'm not sure what the style is called but i'll try to link them in the description box i think they look just as good as uggs and they're probably like half the price you can find them at like macy's and things like that these are really nice shoes and they are very sturdy i've had these for like four years now you can kind of throw them on with anything next i have my booties i believe i got these from shoe carnival but you can also find them like on any other website alive so i like these because the heel isn't too big it's probably like three inches or like two and a half they do hug my ankle which i love i hate having shoes that kind of like don't hug my ankle because then it looks like i have chicken legs and i do kind of have chicken legs but i like things that kind of hide the fact that i do so these are an a plus for me 
that's a velvet material but these ones here i got this for christmas like four years ago as well this is more of a boot that's durable in the rain so it's perfect for the fall time because i know the weather changes like crazy i think these are from just fab or shoe dazzle i know they're kind of like sister companies but you can definitely look on there for these these are like amazing and then they also tie up in the front so they keep it really like sturdy on your feet the heel is definitely more chunky on the shoe than the previous one i used to wear these all through high school people used to look at me like i was crazy but they're so comfortable like i promise so that is everything Everything I have for my fall essentials video. I hope you guys enjoy. I know that my style can kind of differ from your guys's just because of the weather. If you live more on the west coast, then it's probably hot as hell out there still. But it's starting to get a little cool down here in the south, so. <laughs> don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on social media my social media handle is the same across all platforms so just ray ray janae and i'll see you guys in the next video